Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. This is the episode number 37 and we're almost close to Christmas time. This week I want to talk with you about list notifications, which is a new uh, capability introduced in SharePoint Framework 1.7.0 under preview, so you shouldn't use it in production, but better to play with it uh, in a testing of development environment. Using the list notifications, you can get notification about changes on items in document libraries. And the document library can be within the same site in which you are, in which you have uh, your SharePoint framework solution, or can be any other site or site collection in your tenant, even in a multi-geo uh, topology. By using this uh, capability, you don't need to do polling uh, to be uh, aware of changes happening uh, in target libraries, but you can simply get notifications back uh, from the infrastructure of the list notifications. And you can use it either in client-side web parts or in client-side extensions built uh, with SharePoint framework. In order to create such kind of solutions, you will have first of all to create a 1.7.0 SharePoint framework solution. Then you have to install the NPM package that you see on this slide, uh, which is available as an extension for the SPFX environment. And moreover, you have to use the list subscription factory object uh, to create a subscription and to provide uh, a list of callbacks, including the notification callback, uh, which will be the method that will be invoked uh, by the list notifications whenever there are changes in the target library, as well as uh, for the connect or disconnect event, uh, which can be notified to your uh, SharePoint framework solution whenever you have a connection in place for a list notification or whenever you have a disconnection for any kind of reason it will happen and you will get detailed information about why you got disconnected. Once you have done that, you can monitor the target list using the notification and whenever there will be any changes, you will get back a notification, which will be just an information that something happened in the target library. And using the SharePoint REST APIs or the Microsoft Graph API for sites, you can get the updated data in order to, for example, update the UI of your solution. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to create such kind of solutions. Let's start having a look at the solution in action. On the left side of my screen, I have a client side web part that I built using SharePoint Framework 1.7.0 and the list notifications capability. And this client side web part is configured to monitor the sample pictures, uh, uh, picture library that I have uh, on the right side in this browser window. Here I have a bunch of sample pictures. Uh, and let's say, for example, that I want to delete uh, this picture, which is uh, right here uh, rendered in my client side web part. As soon as I will delete uh, the picture on the right side, uh, on the left side, my client side web part will be refreshed uh, and will show the updated list of pictures. And this is happening because thanks to the list notifications, I got notified in my client side web part that something happened uh, in the picture library that I'm monitoring so that I can simply refresh uh, the rendering of my client side web part. So let me show you how it works uh, under the cover. This is the sample solution that I have in Visual Studio Code. Uh, and this is my client side web part. Well, inside the client side web part, uh, I simply have uh, the very common rendering uh, based on a React component. And I provide to the React component three properties. The picture library ID, which I get uh, using the PMP property editor controls, uh, specifically using the property field list picker control. And I specify that I wanna get uh, uh, picture libraries only, and I wanna have a single selection. And whenever there is a new uh, item selected, I will simply notify uh, the uh, client side web part in order to uh, bind it to the uh, selected properties, to the selected ID of the target uh, list or library. Moreover, I provide the onConfigure method, which is the one we can use uh, with the placeholder uh, control provided by PMP controls in order to edit the configuration of our web part. But the real important stuff is this guy, list subscription factory property, which is an instance of the list subscription factory type uh, created providing the instance of this client server part uh, and which is available through the Microsoft SP list subscription uh, uh, namespace. So, what I do inside my TSX React component is to have uh, a React uh, picture watcher component, uh, which has uh, the properties we just saw. So the picture library ID, the list subscription factory, and the onConfigure, as well as uh, we have a state uh, which is made of an array of pictures 
and the Boolean loading uh, uh, state uh, property. Every picture is made of a title and of a server relative URL. So when I create a new instance of this React component, I configure the state and on component did mount or on component did update, I simply say configure my subscription and load my pictures. The configure subscription will set up a subscription private field which will hold a reference to the currently configured subscription. And if we have a look to the configure subscription method, here we simply use the picture library ID provided by the settings of the client side web part. We delete any already existing subscription, if any, as I said, and then we create a new subscription using the list subscription factory instance. We provide the list ID of the target list that we want to monitor, and we provide the callbacks, and specifically we just provide the notification callback, which will be the one used to notify our React component about any changes in the target library. If you want to provide uh, more information about the target site, the target site collection, or the multi-geo domain, you can provide them to the create subscription method if you like. In my scenario, I simply use the picture library from the site in which I am. And I provide a load picture method which will be used to refresh the list of pictures. How do we do that? Well, of course, we uh, set the state of the client side web part in order to show that we are loading data and we reset the content of the array of pictures and then using the pmpjs library we make a request for all of the pictures in the picture library and we map them to instances of the i picture type that we expect in the state so that in case we have a positive result we can simply set the updated state of our uh, react component and we can bind the result in the ui in fact in the render method First of all, we see if we have a proper configuration of not or not. If we don't have, we show the placeholder component of PMP. Or if we have uh, the right configuration, but we are still loading data from the uh, source library, we show the spinner control from Office UI public. While when we have the configuration and we are not loading, we simply show an image tag, an HTML image tag, rendering the uh, picture, every single picture that we have in the state, as well as providing the title as the alternate text for those pictures. It is pretty, pretty easy. So we set up the subscription using the create subscription method, providing the target library and the callbacks. And whenever we have a callback, we simply refresh the list of items using the technique that you like. And that's it. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.